Hey Detoxers, welcome back to Spiritual Detox Guidance with your healer and love giver, Ashley. And today, guys, I wanted to play a little bit of the heart chakra bowl for you guys, a Tibetan singing bowl. Open up that heart chakra so you can receive some of this love, free love we're giving away here. And I want you guys to, you know, embrace that as we do this love reading. So I'm going to do your weekly message from your divine counterpart, a message from the divine masculine or the divine feminine in your life. And just remember when I speak about the divine feminine or the divine masculine, I am speaking in terms of energies. It is not gender specific. So however that resonates with you, uh, whoever you think about as your divine counterpart, as your twin flame, as your heart, sunshine, love, ten of cups, whatever you want to call it, that's what we're doing the reading for. That's who your message is from today. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If it's not your reading, it's not your reading. It might not be the message for you today. Maybe the next one will be. But yes, I want to pull for you guys today. I am going to pull from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck by All Things Intuitive, which I love. Such a beautiful deck. And the um, messages of love Oracle deck as well. So, the messages of love, Oracle deck, we're going to pull some beautiful messages. I've already prayed over my cards, shuffled my cards, all that good stuff. I always like to shuffle them again for you guys on camera, just so you can see how spirit works his magic. I hope you guys are having an amazing new year. This is my first reading video of 2021, so... Happy New Year and many blessings and prosperity. And I wish you guys so much abundance and clarity in 2021. I pray that you guys have a lot of clarity and be able to use discernment along your journey. So, cards want to flip out. Okay, so we're going to pull from the messages of love. And let's see what message we have for the collective from the divine counterpart. So what message from your divine counterpart? So much love. So spirit, what message do you have for the collective today? What message do they need to hear from their divine counterpart? <laughs> Can I have a message for the collective from their divine counterpart? Ah, I fell on the floor. <laughs> rejection. Hi there. So rejection. So it says, this rejection is actually divine protection. So... You're being divinely protected through this rejection from your divine counterpart, whoever that person is you're thinking about. Can I have two more messages? Oops, I jumped out there. Unavailable. So it's saying... This person is unable to give you all you deserve. So, Spirit's saying, whoever this person is, they are rejecting you because they feel like they don't deserve you. They feel like they can't give you what you deserve. Okay. So, they are being as though they're unavailable to you right now. Can I have one more card, Spirit? One more card. One more message from their divine counterpart. What do they need? Ooh, it's like the whole deck. We're not doing that. Can I have one? 
One message spirit for the collector from their divine counterpart. These cards are like so active. There's like every card wants to jump out my hand right now. All right. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. So spirit is saying that your divine counterpart is in denial about their attraction to you, how they feel about you. They don't want to truly share with you that they're deeply in love with you or they want something with you because they feel like they can't give you what you deserve. They feel like they're, they they need to be unavailable to you because right now whatever's going on in their life, spirit saying whether it's financial, um, being worried about what's going on in the world, whatever that situation is with them right now, um, and I'm also hearing like whatever's going on with their family and friends, um, is something that is making them unavailable and seeming as though that they're not going to be a good fit for you, but they're in denial about how they truly feel about you. And that's why they're rejecting you. And Spirit is saying that this is protection for you, that you are being rejected right now. So I'm going to pull from three cards from the Hidden Truth Oracle deck. And let's see. Can I have three more messages for the collective regarding this message from their divine counterpart? <laughs> exactly three flip. So we have, I want to tell you how I feel. We have, I hope that you can forgive me one day. And we have, I look for you everywhere. So that falls right along with the message. So the message from your divine counterpart, he's saying that him or he or she or whichever is saying that they want you to know how they feel. They love you. They're in denial. <laughs> and they want you to forgive them because they they feel I, I don't want to say incompetent but they just don't feel like they're at that point where they can give you what you deserve so they they're pushing you away and they're rejecting you and they hope that you can forgive them for that but they think that this is the best thing to do is to act as though they're unavailable and that they don't want you even though they really do because they feel like they're protecting you, but they're really not protecting you in a sense. I mean, God is protecting you from heartbreak, um, you know, but really it's like being honest and being truthful is the best way to be with your partner. Like be upfront, tell them how you feel, tell them you love their stinking draws, <laughs> you know, because if you do, you do. And you never know how much time you have. That was at 333. You never know how much time you have here on this earth. You never know how much time you have with that person, with that loved one. Like, you have no clue how things may go, you know? You guys might be on quarantine and you don't see this person for, like, a year or something. You don't know how it's going to go. So, like, I say it all the time. Give me my flowers while I'm alive. Like, don't wait until I'm, like, in a casket or, like, getting sprinkled over the earth before you come and bring me my flowers, you know? Like give me my flowers but yes tell the people you love them that you love and care about your divine counterpart is saying i look for you everywhere so they're looking for you everywhere they're looking for you and the people walking down the street that girl that he just saw he thought that it was you but it wasn't you <laughs> they're looking for you and their friends and their family you know it's like how they say like a guy he like looks for a woman that's like his mom, you know, like they look for those pieces of like their mom, like in every woman that they date, because it's about resonating with your energy, like resonating with that person. So 
that person's looking for you, male or female. They're looking for you and everything because they're pushing you away. And they know they truly, deep down inside, care for you and want you at whatever capacity. And right now, they're just in denial about it. And they're stating as though they're unavailable. And right now, you're being protected because God wants you to see them for who they truly are. And God wants them to see themselves for who they are and see how... They may be affecting you or affecting others around you, you know, at this point in time. So that's the message today. Your, your, your divine counterpart wants to tell you how they feel. And spirit is saying that, hey, like, they got some stuff they need to get together here. But that doesn't mean it's you. So don't take it out on yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Don't feel a certain type of way. Spirit wants you to know that you are loved. And that was a beautiful, beautiful message for today. To always remind yourself that you are loved and understand that self-love comes first. And once your divine counterparts see you loving yourself, just loving all on you, like just, just loving all on yourself, you know, making yourself better, getting better every day, like out here grinding, striving, thriving. When your divine counterpart sees that, your divine counterpart is like, wow. I want that or I messed up with that or how can I get like that or why why she like that without me or why he would like that without me they see that they see that shine they see that glow so self-love is the best love baby love yourself first and, and that's going to attract them so I pray this helps you guys along your journey and that you got whatever you needed to get from this message. I hope it resonated with you. And if it did, it may be next time. And I love you guys so much. I'm so thankful and full of gratitude for all of your support. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm always welcome to those love, gratitude, donations, cash app, spiritual detox shop. And anything is welcome because everything is love. So any energy or donations, anything you guys send me, I send it back out into the universe with love at a multitude. So I appreciate you guys. I'm so thankful and happy that you tuned in for my first reading, a love reading video of 2021. And there's so many more to come and so many great things to come too. Stay tuned for spiritual detox retreats. It is in the works and I'm so excited. And I love you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Make sure you follow me everywhere. Spiritual Detox Shop on Instagram, YouTube. Um, just follow us. Facebook. Make sure you check out our website, spiritualdetoxshop.com. Got some great detox gear on there. Great things on there for you guys. Got my detox teas on there as well. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Peace and love.